don't give him the wrong impression then. You know, if you're very, if you're the kind of person who tends to be hesitant about telling someone else that you don't like him, you know, maybe you smile and you do the talk and you go along with them, you know, but you don't like them back, but you just feel like I'm going to be polite and do that. That's a big mistake. Because when you're doing that, you're essentially telling them essentially about what you're doing. The message you're conveying is that you're interested. So he's not going to leave you alone. He's going to keep bugging you. Okay, he's going to keep talking to you. He's going to keep doing all that stuff. So don't encourage him. You know, if a guy likes you and you don't like him back, tell him. You know, tell him that you don't like him the same way that he likes you. And if you're too nervous or too scared to do something like that, then by all means, don't lead him on. Okay, there's certain things you can do with your body language that will give him the message. Okay, you don't have to get into small talk with him. You can be relatively short with him as far as you know, he starts trying to have a conversation have a conversation with you and you honestly you 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 give a one sentence response and go about doing your thing. He's totally going to get the picture then that you are not interested. Okay? So there are things like that you can do without necessarily telling him verbally that you don't like him if you're too scared to do that or too nervous to do that. But the key here is don't play along with it because every single day this guy's gonna be on you. Okay, and you don't want that. You're going to become miserable to the point where you're going to be just, you're going to want to pull your hair out. All right.